Hey, what's going on guys? Happy Easter. A question a lot of investors have now been asking is why is bad news no longer good news and why is good news no longer bad news? And this is a question that has been, you know, coming out is because a lot of good reports have been being released and the market actually does react in a positive way or bad reports are being released and the market actually does respond in a negative way. But this isn't how it's been in the past and this article does a beautiful job explaining it. So again, I hope that you learned something new and if you do, please consider dropping dropping a thumbs up and subscribing if you feel like we earned it. I'm going to start sharing my screen so you guys can see exactly what it is that I'm looking at. And again, this is from Market Watch. Recessions threat may mean that market investors no longer see bad news on the economy as good news. And again, a very simple example is all these economic reports that are released on a weekly basis and how the market reacts. Investors are suddenly worried about a potential recession. This is the shift, right? Focusing from inflation to now focusing on a recession. So, that bad news of the economy might no longer be good news for the stock market. So until recently, investors welcomed the sign of slowing economy, right? Why? Well, again, because it meant that the Federal Reserve could potentially slow down in the way that it was raising interest rates, right? But now that things have cooled off already because of what's been going on with the banks, it's already to be expected. It's not guaranteed, and please don't quote me on that, but it's to be expected that the market believes that the Federal Reserve is going to pivot, meaning going from interest rate hikes to actually interest rate cuts. We're obviously nowhere close to that 2% goal that they have with our inflation rate, but they are saying that, nope, this is enough, and we put, we could potentially begin to see rate cuts. You guys let me know in the comment section what you think, right? Especially with the up-and-coming CPI data report just in this upcoming week, right? We'll talk about that in just a little bit. But investors are now appear to be more fearful of a potential downturn. And this is where things are beginning to sh uh, change. So the market has shifted of its focus from inflation to now the recession this year, according to Michelle Mora, right? Uh, profile, man, whatever, talks a little bit about this individual. Um, and then it just says that the recent employment data, which I do agree with, adds to the growing evidence that inflation is slowing down. And even if taking into account a more dovish monetary policy, the main focus is a recession. So I th the, the whole summary of this, to keep this very short and sweet, is when asking the question, why has bad news now caused the market to sell off and why has good news now caused the market to rise? And it's because of the shift of focus. We are now at a point, according to the market, that the Federal Reserve is being put in a very tough position because of what's going on with the potential bank failures. If they continue to raise interest rates as they have been with its fight against inflation, right? A way that they moderated inflation is by raising interest rates. If they continue to do that, then more banks can potentially fail. This is why it's to be expected that the banks, uh, I'm sorry, that, that the Federal Reserve is expected to no longer have more interest rate hikes, but actually an expectation of a 1.25% interest rate cut by the end of 2023. So this is where the potential pivot might begin, right? So now when we're seeing that the economy is slowing down, that's great. But when now reports are being released and we previously had the assumption that all we wanted was for the economy to slow down. Now it's slowed down enough that now we don't wanna go into a recession. So now there's this new focus, there's this, this shift of focus. So now what I want you to be aware of is if this is true, right? The focus from the Federal Reserve is how can we not, not just win this fight against inflation, mm -hmm but not put us into a recession, right? So it's gonna be very interesting to see on how the market now begins to react to all of these different economic reports. And the very simple reason on why I'm uploading this video is because we have a very big week this week. We have the CPI data report, and it's probably one of the top two or most important report that gets released in the month of April. I'm thinking of live streaming the actual report, but I'll leave it up to you guys. If I'm not mistaken, the CPI CPI data report is going to be released on, yep, April 12th at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. So let me go ahead and share this with you guys. As you guys can see, CPI data report, this is from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. It gets released again on April 12th, 2023 at 8.30 a.m. So I'll leave it up to you guys. If you guys want me to host that free live stream here on my YouTube channel, just get this video to over 1,500 likes. 
and I'd be more than happy to host it. If I'm not mistaken, on the 12th, that is going to be Wednesday of this upcoming week. That is correct. Wednesday of this week, one hour before the market opens at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. I'm in Arizona, so that means that I have to wake up at 5 o'clock to go live at 5.15 before the report gets released at 5.30. So again, if you want me to host that, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your post notifications. I'll leave it at that. Hope and wish you guys an amazing, happy Easter Sunday. And friendly reminder, we are running our biggest sell today. And that's for Learn Plan Profit 2.0. And today only, it's $175 off. It's a one time payment, lifetime access. It's our biggest discount that we will ever offer. And it's going to be the second link in the description down below. Again, you're going to be able to watch me trade live every day. So if you're tired of guessing and you're ready to join my team to watch me trade live every single morning, and on top of that, you also will earn 5,000 automatic entries towards the GTR or 50K cash giveaway. So if you want to learn more about that and to see if our team is a good fit for you, again, that's that second link in the description down below. If you have or want other ways on how you can enter the giveaway, that's going to be the fourth link in the description down below. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, shoot me a direct message via Discord or via Instagram, and that's the first or third link in the description down below. So as you can tell, everything to get in contact with me is linked in the description. Please look out for those fake accounts that are going to be responding to your comments. I will never reach out to you first. I never trade for other people. And again, the only service that I offer is LPP. And again, our, our biggest sell is today. And that's that second link down below. I appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.